Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Haley and if you are watching this, you are probably aware that I live with several severe complex chronic illnesses that have been getting worse over really the course of my entire life and affect my daily life a lot. Um, and last summer, my doctors here at Emory in Atlanta pretty much told me um, we aren't really sure what else to try, what else to do. We really think you should get some additional opinions. Um, so I tried first to get into Mayo Clinic, which we have been talking about honestly for like seven or eight years. Um, they reject me. Then I tried Johns Hopkins. That also did not work out because their motility clinic was not accepting new patients and that's one of the main things I need. So I did get into Cleveland Clinic. They took my case. I started getting this set up last July. I had telehealth appointments with them and started planning my trip. And it is now um, February, 2024. And I, along with my mom, am flying up to Ohio next week for a bunch of appointments with several different specialties at Cleveland Clinic. Um, I'm not really looking forward to it. I don't really want to go, but you know, we take the next step um, in caring for our body um, as much as we can. And I decided to vlog this because, um, well, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog this actually. <laughs> I am, I'm afraid it's gonna be, I know I'm gonna be physically exhausted and I'm afraid it's also gonna be emotionally overwhelming. So I'm going to try to get some video clips, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna post this. Um, we'll just see how I feel after the trip. I don't really know. But um, I think I do want to vlog it for two reasons. Number one, when I went on YouTube searching for stuff like this, like a vlog about going to Cleveland Clinic, there was nothing that I could find. So maybe this will be helpful if you are planning a trip to Cleveland Clinic and it can help you kind of see like the hotel situation, the shuttles, the hospitals, whatever. Um, and then secondly, just because um, this is still a part of my story, even if this is not the story that I wanted to live. Um, so, yeah, we're going to Cleveland Clinic. I'm really, honestly, not super thrilled about it, um, but is the next step to um, do what I can to be as well as I can. Um, yeah, so let's go to Cleveland Clinic. Also, this is my Cleveland Clinic binder that I have spent many, 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 many hours working on. In the front, I have um, like the schedule for the week and the different buildings and stuff. And then I have a tab for each doctor that I'm seeing and I typed out my own notes for them with lists of like my current diagnoses, medications, brief overview of my medical history, daily life, most relevant symptoms, most relevant testing, what we've tried that hasn't worked, questions for them. And then I also just printed out, um, I tried to stick to only the most relevant ones, but it was still a lot. So like testing results and notes and things. And of course, um, they can access a lot of this through the MyChart integration, but specifically for my doctors that are not on MyChart, I made sure to get all of that. And then I also, on the Cleveland Clinic My Chart, I uploaded all of these notes for each doctor this week um, ahead of time, but then I will be taking them with me to the appointment as well. We started our trip on a Sunday and flew from Atlanta to Cleveland, where we stayed in the Holiday Inn Cleveland Clinic on Euclid Avenue. I felt really terrible during the flight and was in a lot of pain when we arrived. The next morning started a long day of appointments. During the week, we used the Cleveland Clinic Shuttle, which is a free service except for a tip to get around. That way we didn't have to get a rental car and we could easily get between the hotel and the different hospital buildings. To start the day on Monday, I saw a dysautonomia specialist. 
if I'm already doing everything for management and he doesn't have any other ideas, why did we fly all the way here? Then I people watched and was sad the piano is not for public use. Next up, I had a GI appointment. Good news, they took me back early at the GI appointment, so we have a ton of time now before my next appointment. Bad news, he, the GI doctor, also wants me to see a surgeon while we are here, so we had to squeeze in another appointment and add it to the schedule tomorrow. I was feeling really terrible and struggling a lot to walk or move my legs. But finally, my third appointment on Monday was with a migraine and a headache specialist. Then we went back to the hotel and I crashed hard. Day two, and my topic card is getting declined. Tuesday started out with an ENT appointment. Got to go to the ENT, fun times. My throat is numb, I can't swallow, and now we are back down on the digestive floor to talk about rearranging my intestines. Also, fun times. Love this for me. Next, I saw colorectal surgery, which was very overwhelming, so I didn't film a lot. But then I was done with appointments for that day. I took a nap and rested in bed all afternoon and I'm feeling better than I thought I was and Michelle is coming to see me so we decided to go to a bookstore and I am so excited! Michelle and I went to Logan Berry Books which I highly recommend. It was about a 10 minute Uber from the hotel. It was really cool and had a huge inventory of both new and used books. After that we went back to the hotel and had dinner with my mom in the hotel restaurant. Day three started extremely early with a sleep specialist appointment. Next, I saw internal med to wrap up the week and review all of the notes from the other doctors. And finally, I got labs drawn, which was a long and painful experience because they weren't allowed to use my line and I have no veins. We ate some food that hurt my stomach and then went back to the hotel. I'm done! Finally, on Thursday, we flew home. trip the end of the day now that I've had a little bit of time to sit down sort through the information think about everything I would say that for me personally um, going to Cleveland Clinic was worth it it was a little bit discouraging I have been very sick for a very long time and I did not expect any magic fixes however it was still kind of discouraging to hear so many doctors say this is just EDS there's no cures only management and you're already doing pretty much everything you can to treat the symptoms correctly. And I knew all of that. It's just a little discouraging to hear from the top specialists. Um, however, I did get some good information, some new treatment ideas to try, some new plans, even though some of them are a little bit terrifying. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm thankful to be able to access good medical care, even if it means flying to another state. And I know that even if I remain this sick or sicker for the rest of my life, I can still live a beautiful, good, full, and faithful life. So... If you are trying to plan a trip to Cleveland Clinic for your chronic illness or some health issue that you're going through, I would be happy to answer any questions just about logistics and the process and the travel and what that looked like. Um, and otherwise, thank you for watching this summary of my trip to Cleveland Clinic.